If you're on a budget and you want to keep the floors in your house clean, this might be the vacuum for you. We have the Appleson ST600 2-in-1 Corded Stick Vacuum Cleaner. And like I said, this is a vacuum cleaner that won't break the bank, so let's see how good it actually is. Spec-wise, we're looking at a 600 watt motor with 15 kPa of suction power. It can pick up all kinds of dirts and debris, whether it's powder, candies, crumbs, pet hair, whether you're on carpet, hardwood, hard marble, all kinds of floor types, really. The vacuum does feature a three-stage filtration system, starting with a precision mesh cover, going into a HEPA filter, and then all the way into a sponge to capture 99.99% .99 of microscopic dust to improve air quality and also improve the life of the motor. All of this is in a relatively compact design that weighs under four pounds. Yeah, that's really light. I mean, just looking at the design of this vacuum, it looks super slim, super sleek, and that nice red color really pops. Inside the box, we have an instruction manual. We have an aluminum alloy tube, which is good for when you're in stick mode. We have a floor head for when you want to clean up the floors. We have a 16.4 foot power cable, because remember, you have to keep this plugged in, but that's a good thing because that way you're not worrying about the battery dying in the middle of your cleaning. And that cord is attached to the main part of the vacuum, which is also the two-in-one. As you can see right here in this form, we have a handheld vacuum cleaner that looks super amazing, looking like it can suck up a bunch of stuff. So taking a look at the main base of the vacuum, it does have a really good size to it, a lot bigger than I was expecting, so right here you'll be able to suck up everything. If you want to take it outside and clean your car with it, go ahead. You can also use it to get into those hard to reach places that you can't fit the actual head of the vacuum into. Now I know what you're thinking, how are you going to get this big head into those hard to reach places? It's still pretty big, but take a close look at this. Flip this little switch, pull this out, and it transforms into a really thin tube that you can fit into those hard to reach places. Under the couch, behind the toilet, behind a dresser, you name it, you can clean it. That's actually a really cool design, the first time I've actually seen that. So I'm really impressed with that. And it's really easy to just transform it back into its original form. We're looking at a half liter dustbin which can easily be detached like so. Once you have it like this, you can remove the filter very easily and then dump out the dustbin which is actually a really good size to catch all those debris and if you take a look inside here that's that three-stage filtration system that's keeping the air nice and clean very easy to put it back in there and attach it back to the base of the vacuum it is recommended to wash the filter every two weeks and replace it every two to four months this cherry red though it just really pops it reminds me of a lowrider what about you? Now remember, this is a two-in-one vacuum, so right here in handheld mode, we do have the power button right here. An easy switch to flip it on and off. But what if you're in stick mode? You don't want to have to reach down there to turn it on and off. So what they did do is put a switch right here. This is a genius design. You can just flip that to turn it on and off. You flip it to on and bam, needle comes out and presses the button. Flip it to off, comes back out. This is a genius design. And of course, it just attaches easily right into the top. Just like so, it's locked into place, but if you want to remove it to go into handheld mode, hold in this button, pull it on out, and it comes right out. So let's just get it back in there for now because that's what we're going to be doing with it. Now while you're in full length stick mode, we actually are able to wrap the cable completely around the whole thing to keep it nice and organized. So let's actually see how easy it is to wrap it up. I mean, this is one of the things I hate about vacuums. So let's wrap it, wrap it. Very easy, and once you have it wrapped up all the way, just like every other vacuum, you see this little part right here, attach it to the wire, and it'll stay nice and intact just like that. That was actually really easy considering it's on a table and it's really hard to do like this. And then taking a look at the floor head for the vacuum when you're vacuuming your floors, once again, cherry red, looking awesome, but on the bottom, this is new to me, we have a brushless head here. As you can see, looking close, there's no brushes here, which is actually really cool because normally, you know, if you have a lot of pet hair going on, the pet hair can get stuck inside the brushes and you have to go clean it out. Right here, there's no brushes. So it seems like that's a thing of the past. We of course have wheels on the front, wheels on the back, go round and round, sing it like that. Very smooth. So if you want to attach the floor head to the actual base of the vacuum, you have to flip this thing down and then stick it right into this slot right here. Just like so. Isn't that very easy? Look at that. Two in one transforms extremely fast, extremely easily. So as you can see, this is the full length of the vacuum when it's all assembled together. Probably can't see it all, but there we go. You got it all. You can see what's going on here. You know what a vacuum looks like. That's what it looks like, a vacuum. I really want to try this out real quick. We have it attached to the stick. We're not going to press this button. Let's turn on the switch. <laughs> really cool will this work too oh that's actually really cool you don't even have to turn this one on to turn it on with this one <laughs> i don't know why i'm so impressed with something so simple like that but that's genius right there two power buttons come on now it does say this vacuum is quiet at under 79 decibels so we're gonna test with my apple watch to see if that's actually accurate As
as you can see, we did hit 85 decibels, which is actually really close to 79, so I'll give him a pass on that one. So now that we got everything set up, we figured out how the two power buttons work like magic. I don't know how they did it, but I'm really impressed that they did. First time I've ever seen that, I'm glad it's here. Let's go try this out on an actual floor and see how well it actually sucks up stuff. All right, guys, we are back, and I got the cable everywhere because I didn't manage the wires properly, whatever. I ain't got time for that. Someone else can do it for me. I mean, it's really easy, but, you know, should I do it? I might as well do it. I really need to stop being lazy. I mean, this is such a simple task, and I don't want to do it myself. You know what that means? Peak laziness has been reached. I'm like, I just cleaned the house. I don't want to have to do this wire. I'll do that next time, maybe. I'll just throw it in the corner somewhere, which I actually do in real life so just keep that in mind don't be like me that's how you end up with a divorce not that i've been divorced but i'm pretty sure that's what would lead to it but now that we got it all managed up perfectly fine looking great remember you can well i guess i can't take this off with the wires attached to it i didn't really think this one through you see i shouldn't have done that because then i could just have the wire over here have all the pieces separate but now we're in one full piece whatever it is what it is it looks cool it actually works really well i was surprised i picked up some chips off the floor that i crumbled up all by myself because see i could do things by myself it picked up a lot of pet hair and dust that i didn't even see because remember carpets collect all that stuff you go to vacuum it it sucks it up you're like whoa i was breathing this in this whole time i should have cleaned this up a long time before and you're glad that you did but you're like whoa I barely survived. So this thing sucked up all of that. It did a very good job. The suction power is good. The sound, it sounds just like any other vacuum really. But overall, it's a very good vacuum. And that price though, like I can't believe it's so cheap. I'm really impressed. When I saw the price tag, I was like, there's gotta be a typo here. Is it missing a one? Like what's going on here? Like I hardly ever see cheap vacuums, especially ones that are actually this cool, especially a two in one convertible with this cool dual switch action. Oh, I just realized it's not plugged in. With this cool dual switch action though, and you can also do a handheld version. That's pretty amazing for the price and it works very well. You can easily keep all your house clean on a budget without breaking the bank. Color me impressed. Like this cherry red, you already know. 